Today I want to talk about the fuel efficiency of two very common engines, one being the Max Force 9 and the other being the ISM from Cummins. I can tell you right now that one of those engines burns 10% less than the other. Which one has the better fuel efficiency? Well, this video will give you the answer because I have put both engines to work and I've actually tabulated um, the amount of mileage and the, the cost of running these engines for X amount of time. Um, here's all my calculations. But first, I would like to talk about my sponsor. Um, the sponsor to this video is absolutely nobody. Nobody has asked me to make this video for them. Nobody has paid me a cent to say anything about these two engines. I want you guys to know that these are accurate metrics that I've pulled up from my business files, my tax files and uh, the cost of running my business uh, files. I've pulled those up and I've created a tabulation and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how I did it. Now there are some similarities and some differences in the metrics between these two engines. Um, as I said before, I've owned these two engines with different trucks and um, I, I'm going to point them out so you can see uh, the differences in information. That way you can judge for yourself how accurate these readings really are. For starters, the trucks are different in horsepower. The Cummins engine is a 350 horsepower and the Max Force engine is a 310 horsepower. There's only one year model that separates these two engines. Both trucks had the same transmission and it was the 10 speed Eaton Fuller transmission. Also, I always carried the same weight on average. There really isn't a way to pinpoint if I've carried more weight for one truck or less weight for the other. Um, so on average, there always has been the same amount of weight. I've always used the same fuel, only because that particular gas station is close to where I park. That's the same fuel I've used for both trucks. Both engines have had EGR systems. EGR systems are exhaust gas recirculation systems. It just recycles the exhaust gases and it reburns it so it can minimize the amount of pollution going out into the air. Why these EGR systems are needed, that is another topic for another day for another video. Both of these engines are in a single axle truck, medium duty tractor. And they are, they are both class six as well. I am a city delivery driver. I don't do long haul and I don't do heavy loads. So this is why it is a class six, not a class seven or eight. So it is a medium duty tractor, 350 horsepower or 310 horsepower. Any more than that, I think it would be overkill uh, for my line of work. So one of the major differences between the time that I owned the Max Force to the time that I now I'm owning the, the Cummins engine is the cost of diesel. The cost of diesel when I had the Max Force was more expensive. And then within the last couple of years till now, the price of diesel has dropped. So that is why I had to dig out my receipts from five years ago and look at the price per gallon for that year. Now, what I did was every month or so, I looked at the price per gallon for that month. And at the end of the year, I averaged it out. So when I looked up the total cost of fuel that I burned for that year, and I divided it by the average fuel cost for that year, I got my miles per gallon. Now, one of the biggest differences between the metrics of both engines is the amount of time that I've had it and the mileage that I drove it. So for the Max Force, I drove it 38 months and the Cummins, I had it for 19 months and drove it for 50,331 miles. Now, you might be thinking, but that's not fair. The reality is that it doesn't really matter because we are measuring the miles per gallon within this amount of time and mileage. Now, let me show you the total cost of fuel and the average price of the fuel that it costs 
uh, when I owned these specific engines. The Max Force engine, I had it from March 2016 to May 2019 and I drove it for 113,214 miles. I came up with 17,861 gallons. If you divide the mileage versus uh, over the gallons, then you get your miles per gallon. So my miles per gallon was 6.39 miles per gallon for the Max Force. So if you think that this is a little bit bad, I'm a city driver, right? So city drivers, we drive through cities and there's traffic, there is roadblocks, there's accidents, there's a ton of red lights. It snows in the winter, so when it does snow, traffic tends to slow down and there goes a whole bunch of fuel. So 6.39 miles per gallon is the average uh, for my day-to-day -day deliveries, okay? So sometimes I do go on the highway as well. I think you can split it down 50-50 between the time that I spent on the highway and that I spend inside the city. In Canada, we measure liters per 100 kilometers. So that equals to about 37.1 liters per 100 kilometers. Now let's see the Cummins side. So for the Cummins engine, I've owned it pretty much from May 23rd till present. And the calculations came in at 50,331 miles, 7,249 gallons. And we get our winner here, 6.94 miles per gallon, despite it being the higher horsepower engine. These calculations right here highlight the importance of having the right size engine for your line of work. In my case, the Max Force was burning approximately 9.66%, and the Cummins is getting 0.6 miles more to the gallon. I thought when I purchased this truck that the Cummins might be burning more, uh, and I kind of hesitated when I bought it because of that reason, but boy, was I wrong almost 10% difference in fuel savings for the Cummins. I just want you guys to know that in order to produce this video, it took me quite a bit of time uh, invested to retrieve all the data and uh, make the calculations and then make the calculations into gallons and into US dollars because here in Canada they, we have we just use different uh, measuring systems. If you enjoyed this video and if you thought it was very informative just hit the thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate that and uh, if you haven't done so already please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode.